My mother was Pauline Augusta Coleman. I'm related to the Redmonds through her. Unfortunately, she passed away in 1987. So I wanted to share this revelation with my father while he was visiting my What's cousins. Where are you coming? <laughs> Hi, Daddy. How you doing, boy? Fine, how are you? All right. What do you think of that? Were you surprised that, that white women were sleeping with black men in the 1600s? Uh, that is something. That's amazing, huh? I'm surprised you could, that one, that it happens, mm -hmm. and two, you could do it for any period of time and get away with it and still survive. Just, just the man, and, and the black man would have been a slave. The African-American people wear racial mixture right on their faces. And the greatest percentage of our admixture comes from European ancestors. But for some reason, it's much easier for us to imagine another source. He knew his grandmother, Elizabeth Redmond, and he said she was a full-blooded Cherokee. Like almost all African Americans I know, my relatives are convinced that we have Native Americans in the family. This is Lucy's sister, and she had hair down to her knee. I thought she looked, you know, mm -hmm. like a Native American. And that's, like I said, that was my mom, and she wore 70s headbands. Oh, your so mom? In the 70s, oh, she your looked mom's like, cool. She, everyone thought she was Native American. I have uh, a, a little Choctaw Indian in my background. She looked like an Indian woman. She mm -hmm. looked like, you know, I mean, like, straight off the, straight off the prairie. Mm -hmm. They talk about the cheekbones and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do have high cheekbones. Yeah. She always had long black, straight, long black hair, and mm. said, so, you know, that's Indian hair. But I've long been suspicious of these stories. How could so few Native Americans sleep with so many African slaves? That's why I've asked the geneticist, Dr. Mark Shriver, to put these rumors to the test. Now we're going to go on to Tina Turner, uh, her family reports. Uh, indigenous American ancestry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tina grew up believing that two of her grandparents were part Native American. But you're only 1% Native American. You know how your family has always thought that you had all this Native American yes, heritage? Yes, yes, yes. It was white heritage that oh, you sure. had. All this time I've been thinking Indian. I was dying to find out what tribe it was. You're from the tribe of <laughs> Europe. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And I'm 3% Native American. So I got just a little Indian in me. You got a little Indian in you. 0% Native American. And 0% Native there American. You go. And 0% who were Native American. We're well, going to have to tell the Choctaw Nation in Oklahoma now. <laughs> I, I misrepresented myself. I'm not Choctaw at all, you know. <laughs> and you'll see there's no figure for Native American because you ain't got no Native American. <laughs> Set the record straight. Even Don Cheadle, who we would expect to have some Native American ancestry From because... That yeah, because of the connection to the Chickasaw, members of your family owned by Native Americans. But we don't find any. Wow. And you're not alone in not having any measurable Native American ancestry. One in about every 20 African Americans only, only one in 20 has any significant amount of Native American ancestry. So apocryphal. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Turns out they didn't really dig you that much. <laughs> to get to the bottom of this contradiction, for once and for all, I've invited an expert on Native American history to meet me at Harvard, Dr. Claudio Sant. Claudio, one common belief among African Americans is that the slaves managed to escape from plantations and find refuge with their Native American brothers and sisters. They'd sit around the campfire, slapping five and, and smoking a peace pipe with Cochise. Did this happen? In some cases it happened, but just as often these fugitive slaves were captured by Indians and returned to the planters. And in fact, the colonies had policies, they implemented policies of rewarding Indians who returned fugitive slaves. They might be given two guns and a kettle if they brought back a live slave, and half as much if they brought back a dead slave, or rather the two ears of a dead slave, which is what they required. According to Claudio, substantial social contact only occurred in the early colonial era when settlers enslaved Native Americans and African Americans together 
and between the revolution and the civil war when a small number of black people were enslaved by the five civilized tribes if this is true why does every african american i know believe that their grandmother had high cheekbones and straight black hair i think it's probably a desire to be associated with people who are portrayed in popular culture as fierce warriors and who resisted the united states um, and if you're a slave or an african american living in jim crow america who wouldn't want to be associated with someone like crazy horse or geronimo it's easier to say we got a little indian in us than to say we got raped a few times right is this that's a really good point it's, it's a lot easier to say so you make up a myth you make up the myth it sounds much better it sounds Go, much goes better. down a lot smoother there's a strange set of security in not knowing a great deal there's a sense that it's all sort of mystical and at lost and nobody ever find it so you could sort of invent any past you wanted to well you can't do that now DNA is finally shedding light on one of my family's greatest mysteries remember my second great-grandmother Jane Gates the woman whose house my cousin just bought Jane a slave had five children with an Irishman yet she never told anyone his identity but not even Jane's discretion or perhaps her shame could protect her children's father from modern science since this man is related to me on my direct paternal line his Y DNA haplotype or genetic signature and mine are exactly the same that's why I've come to Ireland I'm hoping that a recent survey of the DNA of over 2,000 Irishmen will tell me something about my paternal ancestry the geneticist who conducted that research is Dr. Dan Bradley guys this is Professor Gates he's tracing his roots using genetic genealogy uh, Tim, Katrina, Emma, these, these, these are all guys in my lab how are you? do I look like an Irishman to you? <laughs> I'm here to find my roots. I've been looking for my roots. I looked all over Africa, couldn't find anybody, so I ended up up here. After you, sir. This is my Y DNA, which we brought. Yes. Maybe there's some pattern that you can ascertain in my DNA. Well, we, we had a, a look at, at your, your, your marker profile here, and um, I can see here that some of these markers are markers that, that we've typed as well in our, our survey of Ireland. And uh, matches don't, don't happen by chance, really. Not, not over a large number of markers. Um, 10 out of 11 match. Uh, Nail of the Nine Hostages. Nail of the Nine Hostages. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Nail of the Nine Hostages probably lived about 450 AD, so a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And he was a warlord. Does this mean that I am descended from Nile of the Nine Hostages? That looks like a pretty typical in ale haplotype, yeah. Wow, that's great. I'm surprised myself that I have a kinship relationship with this set of families and ultimately an individual. And that I have so much in common with them genetically is uh, astonishing to me. That's right, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder if this king could have ever imagined that he would have descendants whose mother was a black slave. I'm so curious about this revelation that I've traveled to Tara, Ireland's ancient seat of kings. I want to stand on the spot where my ancestor once reigned. An ancestor, it turns out, that I share with almost 10% of all Irishmen. They gave me a DNA test yesterday, and I'm descended from Nile of the Nine Hostages, the king. Well, actually, I'm an O'Neill too, or married to O'Neill, and I believe that we were descended from the kings. So your husband and I are cousins. How about that? Delighted to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you well. Best of luck. With I your hope you film. enjoy your stay here and find out plenty about your ancestors. Oh, well, yes. thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I've You're only welcome been done. I've only been Irish for 24 hours. It's a lot of fun. I like. <laughs> <laughs> I was told I'm supposed to let Guinness settle, right? You have yeah, a yeah, coin. Yeah, you're supposed to tap it. No, no. Wait till it gets black. Oh, gets I like black. that. I came to Ireland in search of my great great grandfather, and now compliments of DNA analysis I've ended up with three million new cousins I'm only part Irish I don't think I got the beer gene <laughs> none of whom look quite like me